this video is going to co go over very basic aligning and um, using grids and rulers within Flash and guides. Okay, so if you want to display the ruler in Flash, you can right click on the stage and select rulers. And this will show you um, a ruler centered at this point right here being 0, 0, and this is in pixels. Okay, um, you could do it that way. You can deselect it by right clicking in the stage and unchecking it. You can also do it by going to view and then rulers. Notice there is also a set of hotkeys that you can use. Okay. Now you can also show a grid on the screen by right clicking, going to grid, show grid. Okay. Also in view, it's an option. And you can edit the properties of this grid by going to grid, edit. And you can change how wide your boxes are. Right now they're at 10 pixels. You can change them to whatever you want. Let's say you want them to be um, 50 pixels, 100 pixels. It doesn't matter. You can change it to whatever you want. Okay. Another thing you can do with the ruler is make guides. Guides are really helpful if, for example, you know you want like a border or something. So let's say I want a border to go 10 pixels around each side. I'll click on this ruler and drag out and now I have this blue line here and let me hide the grid so it's a little easier to see okay I can do it here and now I have these guides and this will help me to be able to you know move my stuff here help me line my stuff up okay Okay, let's see. Um, you can double click on a guide and you can position it perfectly because notice I'm not exactly at 20, so if you want it to be exactly 20, you could do that. Um, you can also right click on the stage and you can do edit guides. You can change the color, like if the blue is hard to see because of your background or whatever. Actually, guides, let's do, you can also do clear guides here, or you can do edit guides and you can do clear all as well here. Okay. So I change the color, I can double click on that, change the position to like 10, whatever. So there's a lot of different things you can do. I'm going to change it back to blue because I like that color. The last thing I want to talk about is using a line. So I'm going to open this up here. And notice I have a line tab here, the align tab. Also, if I close it, if I click here, the align tab will pop out. But I'm going to leave it open. So there are a bunch of different aligns here. There's a line and then there's distribute. Okay, a line will make everything line up. So um, let me move this here. So if I want all of these to line up, on the left here where they all line up I can select this and notice they all line up. Okay, I'm going to undo that. If I all want them to line up in the middle I can select this and line up in the middle. Could have also done it on the right. You can do it on the top. There's a lot of different things you could do so let me select them all. I can do it like that. So this is really helpful when you have a bunch of different buttons and you want them to all line up. Using a line is really helpful. Okay, the next one is distribute. Okay, I'm going to use this one here. So if you select this, it doesn't really look like it did much except for move this, but what it essentially does is it makes them all evenly spaced. So I can align them in the center and now they're all evenly spaced. You can also do match size and that'll match them to the width of the biggest one or you could do match height matches them to the height so this is really great for making a bunch of things line up perfectly and all be the same size I recommend just kind of playing around with the different options and seeing what happens I mean um, you know you can always undo what you did so if it didn't work out exactly the way you wanted it you can just try a different option okay uh, that's all I really want to talk about in this video um, there will be more videos concerning um, different things with art and flash later.